It was a battle down there, and it was like, doesn't matter who's down there. So just having that, having that battle every day is, is fun. And you know, you say he's a younger guy, but you look at him on the court sometimes, you don't realize his age. So yeah, he, he's doing great. It's good to go up against him every day. So. Have you been able to go up against somebody of that kind of like talent, size, physicality on, on a normal basis? Yeah, in the past? No, no. I did, it, in fact, my freshman year and sophomore year, I did. I had a um, grad senior. He was he was strong, so that's kind of what molded me to the player I've been in the past, you know, three, three, two years or whatever. So that's I feel other than him and the bigs back then, this is the most recent one I've had. So, what do you think about this playing in this offense, uh, Mark Pope's offense? Yeah. What what and, and your role in that? How, how do you see that? Movie? I mean, it's fun. I, I love to pass, you know, find cutters. So I feel like it's the perfect offense for me to do well in, especially with both the shooters we have. It's kind of kind of easy to find someone, someone's going to be able to put up a shot, so yeah, I love it so far. People have been raving, raving about your passing ability. Yeah. Is that something you, you've taken pride in and kind of how did you develop that element of your game? Of the passing? See, I'm, I don't remember when I was started to be a good passer. I feel like it was high school, but it was just something that I didn't really have to do as much, but now that, you know, the offenses that I've ran the past well, this year and even at Drexel, I feel like it's been put on display and it's something I love to do now. Just, you know, having the joy of finding your teammate because it's always going to come back around at some point. So I feel like that's the best thing to do. And, you know, it helps me elevate my game too. So. Are there any, like, big guys at the next level that you you, you kind of like watching play in that yeah. style and distributing the ball? To, I would say Jokic you know. for sure. And... Um, Sabonis from Sacramento because you know he, he's a lefty just like me I feel like he does everything but you know those two guys they're both you know international guys too so I feel like it's fitting on how I play as well so yeah. Kerr was just saying with all the three-pointers it, it's hard especially on you because you got to be down there to, to rebound all yeah. the time and probably odd angles well, I, have you ever played on an offense quite like this with with so many threes with so many threes yeah not really, but when we have shooters like we have, I can't really complain about it. So it's yeah, it's great to see. You know, even if they miss it, you know, me and BG, Andrew and Ansley are going to be down there to get the rebound. So you know, it's a it's a good sight. So yeah. What's been kind of the biggest uh, takeaway from the first couple of weeks of practice so far with the team? Um, just how quickly we're learning, how quickly we're adapting to the offense. Um, I feel like as time goes on, that's something we're going to be able to read more and just kind of understand without having to break it down, really. So once we get the hang of that and it gets flowing, I don't really see many, like many teams stopping it. So Coming from you know a, a little bit smaller of a school now to Kentucky, which a lot of us will call you know the mecca of college basketball, what for you personally has kind of been the biggest eye-opening piece of going from you know where you were to, to some place like here? First, I'll say... You're talking about since I've been here, yeah, since like you've been here, my yeah. visit. Just since you've been here. Since I've been here. Thing, yeah. I would just say the facilities and just, you know, going to the TBT game for the first time, seeing the fans, even though, you know, you guys would say it wasn't really that big of a crowd. To me, that's that's more than we ever had at Drexel. So, you know, it's definitely things like that stand out to me. So, yeah. Coming from overseas, a lot of people, I think, do want to know kind of how college basketball is perceived over there. Did you get a lot of, uh, of, of motivation from college basketball, or were you mostly watching international basketball, uh, European basketball? Um, college basketball, for sure. I feel like everyone international, especially where I'm from in England, the goal is to get to America in college and be able to play on scholarship. So that's something I knew I wanted to do from like the age of 15, 16, as soon as I went to a different high school. So once I did that, it was kind of, you know, that was a goal I achieved early on. So Last thing for me, you're from London, obviously. You're, uh, you're a Brit, so yeah. who is your favorite uh, football team? So I've been over there a lot, so I know how to call it football, not, not soccer. So um, which team were you uh, kind of a supporter of? Football? Uh, I'm from Nottingham, which is like two hours from London. So I'm going to say Nottingham Forest just because okay. hometown team in the premiership. But growing up, I was a big Chelsea fan. So I'm going to say, you know, it's blue as well. So it's just, you know. Blue and white just fits right. It matches, yep. Yeah. So I can't really complain. Being from England, so far from home. Yeah. From there, too. Uh, there are kids who go to school here from an hour away. They get homesick. What's it like for you managing? career, not just being here, you were in Drexel all over. Yeah, I mean, my first year was COVID, so I really didn't get to go home, miss Christmas. 
that was tough for me. So um, going home, it was a big thing. It's always hard to leave. Second year, I think I went home one Christmas in the past four years. So and then I haven't been home since the August is gone. So I'm going back when we have a break. But I feel like it's something I knew I had to kind of sacrifice to be able to play college basketball and you know the level I want to play at. So. Over time, it's gotten easier, but it's still, you know, a feeling I get here and there. But I, ring, I call my parents on FaceTime every day for the past four years, so I, see, I get to speak to them all the time, like all the time, my brothers, you know, grandma, family, so. So obviously your teammates, your brothers here, are right? yeah, here. For sure, yeah. So that's why I'm just glad how well we're bonded and how much we do together off the court, so, you know, don't really have your mind on that at all. So. What do you do off the court? I mean, we went golfing yesterday as a team. Where'd you go? Um, you remember? <laughs> it was King, King something. Yeah. King, King Trace. King Trace, yeah. that's it. So, okay. yeah. We How'd you do? Um, I was on a team with Kurt, um, Walker Horn, and uh, Kobe Bryant. We came third out of four, but I was relying on them, too, to do the, to do the world. They didn't really pull through, but we're, we're going to be better next time. But we've been bowling quite a few times, uh, go out to eat, you know, just hang downstairs in the lodge as well, so things like that. What is it like being on a team that's totally new, with a brand new coach, and you've got all these expectations from outside, and so much is expected? Really, I got to think that bonding is even more important for you guys than most teams. Yeah, for sure. I think we bonded quicker than you know many people would think. You know. Wow. I'm not sure. I just feel like we all just kind of speak to each other, kind of get to know each other. You know, we're always joking around in the locker room. I feel like it's just something the camaraderie, like basketball, just brings sometimes. It's a good mix. Yeah. So I think that's what it is. All a good, like, group of people and things like that. So, and then the expectations. We know there's expectations. You know, we're chasing them in line. It's just something we're just doing every day. You know, Mark Pope always tells us how much Kentucky means to him, and he shows it in practice. So, you know, he's definitely instilling that into us. So, I mean, it's just any play, what happens, and it looks like it's not going right, it just let you know, like, this is where you are. Like, you got to sort it out, kind of, and just he brings people to practice every day. You know, people would be in the hospital who have either played here in the past, been a coach. So, just seeing all the guys and how much it means to him and how much it means to them, it kind of helps us in the long run, too. So. What have you learned about your new coach since you got here that maybe you didn't know when you decided to come to Kentucky? That's a good question. Um, so what did I know about him before? Yeah, maybe what have you learned since making that decision to come here that maybe you didn't know previously from being around now in practice and, and maybe off the court, too? Yeah, I would just say... Even though he showed it when he was recruiting me, his energy, that's that's non-stop. And I, I don't even think it's forced side, but I feel like that's just who he is as a person and he brings it every day. It helps us on the court. Helps us just when we see him around, you know, the craft center. So just having that energy, I feel like it just, you know, always brings a good mood to practice every time. Like we've never started off a practice where, you know, guys are tired, guys don't want to be there. Just seeing his energy just uplifts everything else. So it just like brings a great energy all the time. So. Did that surprise you? I feel like in the recruiting process, coaches show you one thing, and then maybe when you get there, they're, they're a little bit. <laughs> That's what it is. It's actually like a lot of coaches probably don't want to. Well, they, they love the recruiting part, but once you get there, it's probably not the same. And a lot of people have been through that. So just knowing that that's not who he is, and, you know, kind of like gives you relief that you made the right decision to be here. So for sure. Not to put words in your mouth, it, it's genuine a good word is that for, for coach. I mean, what you see is kind of what you get. With Co um, Coach, coach. Oh, yeah. oh, for sure, yeah. I would say so, for sure. There's no doubt about it. So he's definitely a genuine coach. What about living here as opposed to Philly? A little different? Definitely different. <laughs> I was saying in one of my um, recent questions, it's just there's a lot of greenery over here. It's something, you know, I grew up from, I didn't grow up, but like my high school was on a farm. So I've kind of come from the farm to city. On a farm? My high school, my high school college was an agricultural school. Okay. So, yeah, so growing up, not growing up, but living there for two years. Does this remind you a little bit of home? I feel like it does, in a way. Yeah, small city, you know, it's not really a big city center like it is, but yeah, for sure. So. What about the interest in basketball compared to back home? I mean, clearly, literally a world apart, but you gotta love that. 
Yeah, for sure. Basketball is something that we're trying to build in England. You know, we're trying to build it every year. Sometimes it sets back a little bit, but you know, there's a lot of guys out there who play basketball who know a lot about Kentucky. You know, even though it's two different countries, you know, when I committed, it was a big thing back home. So, yeah, it's definitely two different worlds. But did you pay attention when Kentucky played over there a couple of years ago against Michigan? Against Michigan. Here, but did you pay attention to that? Um, I remember seeing it because it was a big thing, and I think there was another game where I think it was Ryder just before that. We had a player on Ryder who went to the same high school I did, so it was a big thing for everyone to kind of go out there and watch those two games. So I definitely remember it. I hope it happened this year, but you know. All right.